Hello, Mirna. Hello, Giovanni. How are you? Good evening. How are you? Fine. Yes, I know, right? But today is Wednesday. Miércoles, cierre de mes para mí, pero todo bien. Yes, okay, very good. So today is Thank the you. last day of November, el último día de noviembre, right? Se, se fue el, el año. <laughs> se fue el año. Se fue el año, imagínese bien rápido. Vamos a comer chumpe, va a ver si me despedida. <laughs> yes, of course, right? Okay, so Mirna, ¿qué tal se siente? Good evening. Ok, good. Uh, tengo un problema en el cuello, pero es algo. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Good evening, Oscar. How are you, Oscar? I'm fine, teacher. Perfect. Ok, guys. So, welcome. Ok, once again to our English class. We are going to start with today's class. And we are going to start by asking you a couple of questions. Ok. So, we have right here an image and let me ask you what is the name of this food what is it orange an orange okay it could be an orange what else um a lemon, a lemon. Okay. okay but it could be an orange yeah i thought as well the same that it was <laughs> an orange but it is a lemon okay so what about this one what is the name of this Apple. An apple. What about this one? The banana. A banana. And this one? Strawberry. Strawberry. Very Bumper. good. Yes, yeah, strawberry. What about this one? What is this? Uh, beer. Oh, no. This one is a pear. Beer? Pear. 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 Yeah. What is this one? Pineapple. 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 Yes. And this one? Watermelon. Watermelon. And this one? Ah, orange. This one, yes. An orange, right? Yeah. Yes. No. Now, what about this one? Mm -hmm. Grape. 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 Yes. What is this? Híjole. Elote. Ajá, how do you say elote? Ajá. Este, I know. You don't know? Okay, so elote, corn. 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 I like put corn. corn. Ay, se me olvidó. Corn. Ajá, okay. And this is, what is this? Carrot. Carrots. Carrot. Very good. And this one? Kiwi. Kiwi. Kiwi, yes. What is this? Mm. Beans? Peas. Yes. Peas. Okay. What is this? Potato. Potato. And this? Ay, berenjena. <laughs> How do you say berenjena? Eggplant. 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 Okay. Eggplant. Uh -huh. And what about this one? What is this? Broccoli. Broccoli, yes. Broccoli. What is this? Tomato. Tomato. And this? Is... Cucumber. Cucumber. Very good. Okay. And what is this? Mm. Pepper. Pepper. Yes. Pepper. And what is this? Avocado. Oh, avocado. 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 Yes, avocado. Eh, let me see again. What is this? <laughs> ¿Cómo se llama esto, guys? Eggplant. Eggplant. Yes. And this? Well, pepper, right? Pepper. Yes. Very good. Okay, guys. So we are going to start with today's class. Okay. We are going to start with today's class and well, we are going to start with the following. Today, we have many things. We have listening quizzes, tenemos examines de listening, and we also have um, the quiz about grammar. 
Okay, grammar quiz. Tenemos dos exámenes de listening. Ahora sí vamos a escuchar dos audios. Okay. So now, uh, let's see. We are going to start with expressions to a state urgency. Okay, expressions to a state urgency. So let's see. The first thing that I'm going to ask you is the following. Tell me three things. Tell me three things that you do every day at your workplace. I go to the bathroom. I go to the bathroom. What else? Mm -hmm. Things that you do every day at your workplace. Mm -hmm. I wash my hands. You wash your hands, yes. Uh -huh. I work my duties. I work on my duties, yes. Okay, very good. And what is something you never, you never do at your workplace? Okay, Marlon. Yes, what is something you never do that you never, 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 never do? I never watch TV in the work. I never watch TV at work. Very good. Uh -huh. You never watch TV at work. What about you? Um, let me see if we have Kevin. Yeah. Kevin, tell us something that you never do. Uh, I never sleep at work. I never sleep at work. And tell me one thing that you do every day at your workplace, Kevin. Uh, you repeat, please. Yeah, tell me one thing that you do every day at your workplace. One thing that you do every day at your workplace, in your office, at work. Uh, Lo que hago, una de las cosas que hago. Yes. yes. Good evening. Uh, Good evening, Rosy. I check my email. I check my email. Very good. Check my email. Yeah. Uh, I file I file the document. I print. 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 No, Very good. Uh, para decir, Archivo, film. Archivar. Oh, I organized. Organized. Yeah. You organize documents. I, I organize documents. Excellent. Very good. Okay. So now let's move and let's move to the reading part. So read about Mr. Wilson and check the correct sentences and correct the wrong ones. So on this page, on this page, okay, we are going to work on that. But first we are going to read it. I need one volunteer, one volunteer to read the paragraph. Me? Thank you. All right. So go. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I'm a human resource manager. Yes. Every day I check emails yes. for the company. I always answer the phone yes. and talk and talk to Potent, potential employees general. I attend meetings in the morning mm -hmm. and not so often if the afternoon. In my company, in my company, we always have events. We have to attend a conference on July. 21, mm -hmm. 21, uh, and then we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 26. 20, 
20 seconds and I am always busy. Okay, thank you. All right, so this one is going to be July 21st, okay? July 21st. Yes, repeat after me and say events. 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 Yes, so this short reading, Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I'm a human resources manager. Mm -hmm. Yeah, human resources manager. Every day I check emails for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to potential employees. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. Events. We have to attend a conference on July 21st. And then we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. I am always busy. Okay, so now, yes. Let's read about Mr. Wilson and we are going to check the correct sentences. Okay, and we are going to correct the wrong ones. So let me ask you guys, number one, is this correct? Yes or no? Number one, correct or incorrect? According to the reading. Incorrect. 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 Why? Why incorrect? John Wilson. Uh, okay. Because, because his name is John Wilson. Very good. Number two, correct or incorrect? Incorrect. Why? Why incorrect? Correct. Check email. Check email. Because, because I checked check the mail for company. Excellent. Every because day. he checks emails for the company every day. Because he, he checks emails for the company every day. Number three, correct or incorrect? He never answers the phone and talk to customers. Correct or incorrect? Incorrect. incorrect. Why? Because he always, always answer okay. the phone and talk to customers. Excellent. Okay. Now, what about number four? He often attends meetings in the morning, correct or incorrect? Correct. 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 Incorrect. Correct. Yes, yes. Correct. Correct. It says correct. correct. Yeah, generally I attend meetings in the morning, okay? Now, what about number five? He never, never, never attends meeting in the afternoon. Correct. 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 Yes. Yes. Not so often yes. in the afternoon, correct. Solo yes. atiende reuniones en la mañana y no en la afternoon. Mm, but no. It's not incorrect. incorrect. It's incorrect. incorrect. Why? Often. Because so often es que atiende más en la mañana. En la tarde, perdón. Oh, no. In this case, es que no, no tiende a menudo. Aquí dice en not, tiene el negativo. Not so often. Ok. No tan a menudo en la tarde, pero no dice nunca sino que dice que no lo hace a menudo. ¿Eh? ¿Eh? Teacher. Ya. Yeah. Pero no estaría de más poner el so. Eh, me refiero gramaticalmente hablando. No sé si estoy en lo incorrecto, pero porque often es como menudo y el so sería como para hacer como más resalte, un resalte mayor. Yes. Pero no lo sé. Yes. In this case, Uh, if you notice, aquí en esta, en esta que tenemos aquí, esto, ok, esto, dice not so often, no tan a menudo en la tarde. ¿Mm? So it gives uh, intensity, si sí lo está intensificando, como usted dijo. Yes. Ok, thanks. ¿Mm? 
Now, what about number six? He usually has events in his right. company, correct or incorrect? Incorrect. Why? Always have events. Because he always has, has events. events. Very good. Number seven, he has to go to a conference on July 22nd. Correct. Yes. Yes. Correct. 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 Are you sure? I have to go to conference in July. Huh? Incorrect. Why? It's incorrect. Because, uh, no. because he attended a conference on July 21st. Correct. And what about on July 22nd? He has. Ellos lo... uh -huh. They have two. Ellos luego tendrían eh, una reunión sobre la conferencia del, del do 22. Yes, okay. So they, they have to attend a meeting, but no a conference, okay? It's a meeting. Very good, okay? Excellent, very good, okay? Now let's move, okay, let's move. Okay, guys, so now let's talk about expressions to a state urgency, okay? Expressions to a state urgency. We have some examples. Uh, Andrea Lisbeth, help us reading the five examples that we have. Can you repeat? Yes, read. Mm -hmm. It's very important. important. I already knew. I... I urgently need. It is extremely, extremely important. Asap. Okay, now repeat after me, and this is for everybody, okay? So it's very important. It's very important. 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 Very good. So it's very important, okay? Now we also have. I really need. I really need. Really. Really. I urgently need. I urgently need. Perfect. It is extremely important. It is extremely important. ASAP. ASAP. Very good. Okay, guys, so those are expressions to a state urgency. Son expresiones que nos ayudan para indicar que algo es urgente. Urgency. What's the mean? ASAP. Yes, ASAP, it's an abbreviation, okay? And ASAP means as soon as possible. Yeah, as, okay, as. Lo antes posible. Yes, correct. Lo antes posible. ASAP es una abreviación y la mayoría de personas eh, va a escuchar diciendo ASAP. No dicen as soon as possible, ellos dicen ASAP. ASAP, ¿ya? Yeah? Así, ellos dicen así. Lo, lo abrevian, pero en realidad es as soon as possible. Ok, so for example, it's very important. Es muy importante. Urgencia. It's very important. I really need. Realmente necesito. Realmente necesito los reportes. I really need the reports. Yeah. I urgently need. Urgentemente necesito. I urgently need the what? Um, the warehouse key, la llave de la bodega. Okay. Now, it is extremely important. Es extremadamente importante. Es extremadamente importante. For example, it is extremely important to attend the meeting 
asistir a la reunión. As soon as possible, ASAP, for example, send me the reports, ASAP. As soon as possible. Send me the reports as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. So, urgency. Something that is urgent. Okay, algo que es sumamente urgente. Okay, now let's continue. Let's continue. Then, we also have the following, okay? So, let's see. I need two volunteers. One is going to be Mark and the other one is going to be Bree. Yo. Yo. Okay, so um I think that, that Mirna, okay, Mirna and Eunice. So Mirna, you are Mark, and Eunice, you are Brie. Okay. I really need that memo, Brie. I need to speak to Mr. Williams, please. It's very important. Right away. Thank you. Okay. So now, guys, we have Mark and Bree. Okay. I really need that memo, Bree. I really, I really need that report, eh, Kevin. I really need that report, um, Alexandra. Okay, so just a moment, please. Mire para pedir como, eh, permítame un momento. Just a moment, please. Yeah. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. It's very important. Okay. Right away. What is the meaning of that expression? What is the meaning of right away? Right away means de inmediato. Right away. De inmediato. Mm -hmm. For example. Teacher, yeah? I have a question. Why use speak in or not call? Call? Porque creo que significa I need to speak to Mr. Wilson. Porque no es como porque quizás está en el mismo lugar y no es por llamada. Eh, okay, very good question. Okay, muy buena pregunta. Well, in this case, ajá, recuerde que si usted va a decir, por ejemplo, necesito llamar a Mr. Wilson. Ahí sí, I need to call Mr. Wilson. Pero en este caso, como está diciendo, necesito hablar con, es I need to speak to Mr. Wilson. En este caso, um, no, no necesariamente tiene que estar en el lugar, puede estar en su casa y usted puede hablar en algún lugar y, y dice, necesito hablar con. Ok, mm -hmm. pero no por, no por celular, no por teléfono. Ah, puede ser por llamada o, o en persona. Ah, no importa, pero mm -hmm. si digo call, sí es por llamada. Yes, si usted dice call, okay. es que usted va a llamar, correcto. Ok. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. So now, let's see. Uh, we also have a short paragraph. This is an email. Este es un correo electrónico, ok? This is an email. So let's see. It says, we are going to read the email and then we are going to organize the activities Guadalupe needs to do by importance, okay? This is, uh, I, will, I will use your critical uh, thinking skills. Vamos a ver sus habilidades de pensamiento crítico aquí, okay? Why? Aquí dice que vamos a ordenarlo por orden de importancia. Tenemos first, second, third, and fourth place right here, yeah? Aquí. Okay, so let's read the email. Vamos a ver cuáles son las tareas, okay? So, uh, I need one volunteer. Let me see, one volunteer. Mirna. Me. <laughs> okay, all right, in this case, Mirna. Thank you, Alexandra, okay? So, Mirna, go. 
from the, the from yes from from daniel luis arroba gravers dot com mm -hmm. subject very important that for this month dear well look these are some of the tasks for this month mm -hmm. i really need you to contact the first three potential customer in the list form mr sanchez you have three days to do it three hours each day mm -hmm. the need call the new client from the last three weeks and give them the catalog informa, information for June. Mm -hmm. You have two days to do it one hour each day. It's a very important to send that to last sales report and May 26th and uh, write a new welcome letter for the new customer you have one day to do it for hours finally visit the two stores in santa tecla you have okay. and write a new welcome letter for the new customer you have one day to do it for hours. Finally, visit the two stores in Santa Teca. You have days to do it, two hours each day. Organize you, your week. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Bert, Bert, regret, Daniel Ruiz. Okay, so organize, okay, organize. Organize, organize. your week, yes. And here, uh, arroba, how do you say arroba? At. at very good at arroba se dice at yeah at okay so now guys let's see now we are going to work okay vamos a trabajar ahora it says that we are going to order the activities okay we are going to order the activities by importance vamos a ordenar las actividades por eh, importancia okay so we have the first one. I really need you to contact the first three potential customers in the list from Mr. Sanchez. Esa es la primera actividad que supuestamente tiene que hacer eh, Guadalupe. Okay, so contact the first three potential customers in the list from Mr. Sanchez. Okay, that's the first activity. The second activity, Call the new clients from the last three weeks, okay? And give them catalog, okay? This one is catalog, catalogo, okay? Catalog information for you. That's the second one, okay? The next one is send, okay? Send the two latest sales reports. Mandar los últimos reportes de venta, okay? on May 26, okay? And then write a new welcome letter. Mire, cuando usted le manda una carta de bienvenida a su cliente, eso se llama welcome letter. Welcome letter, okay? And finally, visit the two stores in Santa Tecla. Okay, por orden de importancia, ¿qué haría primero usted? The send the two latest okay. sales reports. Send the two latest sales reports on May 26. Okay. That's what Alexandra uh, would do. Send the two latest reports. Okay. Mirna says, visit the two stores, right? Visit the two stores. Ajá. Después, ¿qué harían? Uh -huh. Contact the first three potential customers. Or... Write a new 
welcome letter. Okay, write a new welcome. Okay, write a new welcome letter. Okay, the welcome letter. Okay, after writing the welcome letter, ¿qué haría? Call the new clients from the last three weeks. Okay, call the new clients. Okay, for the last three weeks. Okay, and the last activity. Contact potential customers. Okay, contact potential customers. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Do you have any question about vocabulary? Preguntas de vocabulario? ¿Cómo se dice? 26. 26. ¿Cómo está escrito? 26. 26. 26. Yeah. 26. Yeah. El TH no tiene nada que hacer. Yes, el TH solo suena como un 26. Como, saca solo la lengua. 26. Okay. Yeah, like that. 26. Um, yeah. What the meaning is latest? A los, eh, los últimos. Latest. Ok. Uh -huh. The latest significa los últimos. Los últimos, últimos, últimos. ¿Dónde está esa palabra? Es después de welcome later. No. No, here. ¿O ¿Cuál es? Ah, ya lo vi, ya lo vi. Too latest. Late. Uh -huh. Sales okay. report. Sales okay. report. Ajá. Los, los últimos, los dos últimos reportes de ventas. Uh -huh. Yes, the latest. Es sinónimo de later. No, those are not synonyms. No son sinónimos porque later es después. Ok. Pero tiene que ver porque lleva con la misma escritura, ¿verdad? Pero no, no son sinónimos en sí. Ok. Ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. eh, teacher. Yes. Eh, la carta de bienvenida es welcome. Welcome letter. Solamente eso, carta de bienvenida, welcome letter. Yeah. Un welcome letter es una carta de bienvenida. También un correo de bienvenida, si usted no lo hace como en, en un PDF, en un documento, usted escribe un correo, es welcome email. Si usted envía un correo en lugar de una PDF, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. La carta es letter. Letter, ajá. Okay. Letter. Thank you. Yes. Dice. Pronunciation de catálogo. Catalog. Catalog. Yes, catalog. Yeah. Yeah, los catálogos, los catalogs. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Okay. Mm. The pronunciation teacher de customer. Oh, yeah. Customers. Cost. Customer. Customers. Oh, oh. Customers. Customers is the same user. Mm, those are synonyms. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So customers, clients, users. Son la misma palabra. Es el mismo significado. Yes. Clients. Yeah. Those, uh -huh. those are synonyms. Son synonyms. Ah, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Perfect. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's move, all right? Let's move. So now let's uh, work on this, okay? So let's create one activity per, per each expression, okay? So tell me something that it's very important for you to complete. Algo que sea muy importante que usted debe de completar en su trabajo. Mm -hmm. I visit client. It's very important to visit clients. It's very important to visit clients. Clients, okay. It now is, uh, is very important for clients. It's very important for clients, okay. For clients. For clients. Clients. Es call de llamar. On call. Oh, okay. It's very important to call 
clients? Yes, okay. it's important. Yeah, it's very important. Mm -hmm. Remember that in this case, tenemos que decirlo de esa manera, guys. It's very important to call clients or to visit. Ese tú tiene que ir, okay? To call clients, to visit clients. Okay. Now, I really need something that you really need to do. I really need report sales. Yes. I really need report sales. Yes, I really need to. I really, okay. To report sales. Okay, now I urgently. Urgently need. Algo que usted urgentemente necesite. How do you say plazos? Plazos? Um, you can say plazos de qué? Legales. Uh, you can say Como like, terminaciones legales. Yeah. Uh, legal periods. Periods. Yeah, periods. Como periodos. Como plazos. Okay. Sería, I urgently need review legal periods. Okay. I urgently need to. Need to. Need to review legal periods. Very good. Yeah. Like that. Mm -hmm. Two. To review legal periods. Yes. What about it is extremely important, extremadamente importante. Extremely. Don't send the money. Okay. It is extremely important. Huh? To don't the money. To count. Don't count. To count the money. Count the, the money. money. Yes, that is correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. And one expression for ASAP as soon as possible. As soon as possible. Send, send the legal report. Send the legal reports. The legal reports ASAP. You see, very good. So you see, and you are using the expressions to a state urgency. Esas son expresiones que le van a ayudar muchísimo. Okay. Do you have any question right now? No? Okay. So I'm going to take the attendance. I'm going to take the attendance, guys. Okay, the attendance. And so here we go. Okay, say present, okay? Amanda Yesenia Lopez. Present. Thank you. Andrea Lisbeth Monge. Present. Thank you. Brian Alexander Monterrosa. Present. Thank you. Carlos Alberto Vega. Present. Thank you. Dina Maribel Rivas. Dina Maribel. Present teacher. Thank you. Enrique Arturo Enriquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Janet Amaya de Reyes. Present. Thank you. Jacqueline Marlene Pérez. Present. Thank you. Joel Alberto Barrera. Good evening, teacher. Present. Thank you. Good evening. Juan Carlos Jovel Amaya. Okay. He's not here. Okay. Uh, Kevin Adiel Rosa. Present. Present. Thank you. Luis Ernesto Galvez. Luis Giovanni Villa. Present. Thank you. 
Mirna Yesenia. Present. Thank you. Noemi Claribel. Present. Thank you. Eunice Álvarez. Eunice. I think that yeah. Okay. Oscar Giovanni. Present teacher. Yes. Present teacher. Present. Thank you. Eh, Rosibel Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Yancy Rendero. Kenny Alexandra Montenegro. Present. Thank you. En Marlon Orlando Calles. Present teacher. Thank you. All right, guys. So let's continue. Let's continue. Give me one second. I'm going to share my screen. Okay. Give me one second. Okay. So now let's move. And we are going to start with the grammar part. Okay, Eunice. So the grammar part. Okay, guys. We are going to study have to. That is the topic. Have to. Okay. So we use have to to express necessity. Con usted va a expresar una necesidad, algo que usted tiene que. For example, I have to travel. Tengo que viajar. You have to travel. He has to travel. She has to travel. It has to travel. We have to travel. They have to travel. Now, guys, with this one, what you need to notice and look at this, okay? Fíjese bien. With he, she, and it, we are going to use has. Okay? And with I, you, we, and they have, yeah? When we have positive sentence, for example, I have to eat, tengo que comer, I have to eat, tengo que bañarme, I have to take a shower, I have to sleep eight hours, I have to go to work, I have to work. I have to create the report. I have to call clients. I have to visit the stores. I have to go to another city. I have to talk to my supervisor, etc. Yeah, have to. Algo que usted tiene que. Yeah. I have to finish my work. Mm -hmm. I have to finish my report. I have to sell. Mm -hmm. Now, that is positive. Look at this, positive, positivo, positive. Now, when it comes to negative, okay, negative, as you can see, we use don't, don't for I and you. We, they, don't, don't. But for he, she, and it, we use doesn't, okay? So have is for all of this. Have, porque llevamos el auxiliar. Por eso no va a cambiar. En este caso, el verbo have va a ir en su forma base. I don't have to travel. Yo no tengo que viajar. You don't have to travel. Tú no tienes que viajar. He doesn't have to travel. Él no tiene que viajar and so on, okay? Yeah, and what is the meaning of so on? Cuando yo le digo so on, es como decir y así, y así sucesivamente, okay? And so on, yeah? All right, so questions so far? Doubts? No questions, no doubts? Teacher? Yes. No. Es como de mandato, de algo de, como de obligación, que lo tengo que hacer sí o sí. Correcto. Es una obligación. Okay. Puede ser una obligación o no puede ser una obligación, porque si lo decimos en negativo, es como I don't have to travel, yo no tengo que viajar. Entonces no es una obligación, ¿verdad? Pero si lo dice en forma oh. positiva, sí. O sea que puede estar en negativo y en positivo. Correcto. Algo que definitivamente ya no vamos a hacer o Correcto. sí lo vamos a hacer. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. so, siempre estará el have to. Have to, siempre. 
Okay, sí. teacher. Thank you. Okay. So now let me ask you, okay? This is in general. Esa es una pregunta en general, okay? What do you have to do next week? Tell me activities that you have to, have to do. Mm -hmm. I have to go to the dentist. Excellent. I have to go to the dentist. Very good. I have to attend meeting. I have to attend meetings. Very good. What to say is comprar. How do you say comprar? Buy. I. I. Uh -huh, I. I have to do buy. I have to buy. Materiales. Okay, so I have to buy materials. I have to buy materials. Materials. Very good. I have to buy materials. materials. Yes. Huh? Excellent. All right. What else? Now, guys, tell me things that you don't have to do, that you don't have to do next week. I don't have to play soccer. I don't have to play soccer. Very good, Noemi. I don't have to get up early. I don't have to get up early. Very good. Yes, excellent. Mm -hmm. I don't have to see TikTok. I don't have to see, okay, TikTok, all right. So yeah, so I don't have to watch TikTok. Yes, very good. Excellent. So you see, now, uh -huh. I don't have to take medicine. I don't have to take medicines. Very good. Excellent. Yes. Okay, guys. So now we also have questions. También tenemos las preguntas. Questions, okay. Look at this. Do I have to travel? Possible answers. Yes, I do. Or no, I don't. Do you have to travel? Yes, you do. No, you don't. Does he have to travel? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does she have to travel? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Does it have to travel? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Do we have to travel? Yes, we do or no, we don't. Do they have to travel? Yes, they do or no, they don't. So do I have to, to travel? Tengo yo que viajar? Sí, no. Do I have to go to the dentist? Yes, I do. Yes, do I, do. I have to watch TikTok? No, I don't. No, I don't. Mm -hmm. Do you have to watch Facebook? Yeah, I do. <laughs> okay, yes, I do. All right. So do you have to eat vegetables? Yes, I do. Do you have to go to a party? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> okay, guys. So, do you have to play video games? Yes, I, I do. I don't. Yes, I do. <laughs> no, no, I don't. don't. <laughs> okay, so, yes. Do you have to drink water? Yes, yes I, I do. do. Yes, yes, I, I do. do. Okay, very good. So, you see, in that way. Okay, in that way we use have to. Así lo utilizamos, have to. Okay, questions? Dudas? No, teacher. Not right now? Okay, let's move, guys. And now let's work together then, okay? So let's see. Circle the correct words. Number one, we 
have to have answer the question. Yes, we have to. Now, this is a pronunciation tip, okay? Un tip de pronunciación. Esta palabra que es answer, lo vamos a decir como answer. 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 Así, ok. Answer. Answer. Yeah? Okay. Thanks. All right. So, number two, Emma. Emma has to. Has to. Has to. Has to. Excellent. Number three, do you? Look at this. Cuando usted quiera preguntarle a alguien, se tiene que ir ya. Mire. Do you have to leave now? Okay. Do you have to leave now? Yes, I do. Or no, I don't. Right. Mm -hmm. So now number four. No, I. I do. No, I don't. No, I, I don't, don't have to. Have to. So I don't have to. Yes. Number five. Jay doesn't have to. Jay. Doesn't. Yes, because it's third person. Es tercera persona. Jay. Yes, he. Now, number six. He has to. He has to help carry. He has to help carry. Excellent. Very good. All right. Okay, guys, so now let's complete this. Vamos a completar estas. Today is a holiday. Today is a holiday. What is the meaning of holiday? Vacation. Vacation, festivity, right? So today is a holiday. I have to. don't have to. I don't have to. Exactly. I don't have to. Too, okay, I don't have to because it's a holiday. Es una vacación, una festividad. So no tengo que trabajar. I don't have to go to work. Okay, number two. It's a question. Does your sister? Does your sister? Uh huh. Does your sister? Has to. Has to. Or have to. Have to. Have to. Why have to and no has to? Because, because we are your have... sister. Have no, to. because we have the auxiliary verb. Thus. Oh, sí, sí, gracias. Okay, yes, very good. Number three, my mother. Has to go. Has to. Right. Has to go to the post office now. Very good. Number four. I have to. Study. I have to. I have to. Very good. I have to study for the grammar test tomorrow. Number five. Do they have to get up again? Excellent. Do they have to get up early every morning? Yes, they? Uh, do. Yes, they, to. they yes. do. Okay, yes, they do. Okay. Number six, Patrick. Has to drive yes. to the store. Has to drive, has to, drive, has to, drive to, to the drive. store. Okay, are you sure? Mira lo que le sigue. He can take a bus. Dice, él puede tomar el autobús. Entonces sería, Patrick doesn't have. Doesn't. Ajá. Okay. Entonces es como, Patrick no tiene que manejar. Doesn't have to drive. Él puede tomar un bus. So, no es necesario que maneje. Doesn't have to. Number seven. And. Has. Has. Has to. Has to. Has to. Is well. feeling well, okay? Mire cuando usted dice, yo no me siento bien, okay? Okay, no, no, no me estoy sintiendo bien, dice. Okay, no me estoy sintiendo. Okay, I am, mire, I am not. I am not feeling well, okay? I am not feeling well. Cuando usted quiere decir eso en un ambiente de inglés, okay, en su trabajo en algún momento que usted use inglés, 
I am not feeling well. I need to go or I have to go. Okay. Now, number eight, excuse me. I, I have to. I have to. Very answer good. Answer my phone. Yes, I have to answer my phone. Number nine. Do you have to leave soon? Excellent. Do you have to leave soon? Do you have to leave soon? Mire, eso es lo contrario de lo que estábamos viendo. Eso es como preguntarle a alguien, ¿te tienes que ir pronto? ¿Ya te vas a ir? Do you have to leave soon? Okay, very good. Do you have to leave soon? And the last one, my friends have to have take to a drive in test. Okay, is my friend is third person or first person? It's yes, he. Has, has to. Yeah. Has to. Has to. Okay. Tercera persona. Has to. Very good. Teacher, okay. pero no serían, eh, en este caso no serían ellos. Oh, no. Como because, refiriéndonos a ellos. No, because here we do not have the letter S. Ah, um, está yeah. en singular. Ah, uh, uh, sí, sí, my friend. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Excellent. Okay. So any other doubt? <sighs> Have to and has to. Any questions? Okay. No questions at all. Perfect. Okay. Let's move. Okay. Let's move. So right now, Okay, let's work on this. Antes del examen, vamos a trabajar en esto. Okay, look at this. It says reading time. Pay attention. We need to identify 20 grammar mistakes. Aquí hay 20 errores gramaticales con la tercera persona, the third person. So, as you can see, it says, John's daily routine is a little boring. But he, mire, aquí debe de ser likes pero dice like. Okay. Ese es el primer error. Okay. ¿Cuál es el segundo error? ¿Dónde está el segundo error? Dígamelo. Get. Get up. Excellent. Get up. Get up. What about number three? Wakes. Excellent. Wakes him up. Very good. Number four. Brushes. 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 Very good. Number five. Washes. Washes. Okay. Number six. Shaves. Yes. Shaves. Shaves. Seven. Uh -huh. Get. 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 Number eight. Gosh. 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 Very good. Number nine. Oh. Uh, uh, no, this one is correct. Porque mira, aquí dice two. Entonces, si va have. Okay, ese está correcto. Okay. It says, he always has juice, cereal, and lots of fruit. That's him in the picture with his wife. He takes, takes, takes a bus to work because he doesn't like to drive. And he always... Arrives. Arrives. Yes. What is the other mistake? Finishes. Finishes. Very good. What about the next one? Next mistake. Harriet. Harriet. Excellent. Very good. Harriet. Mm -hmm. Next. He finishes work and he is back home. Sis. Sis. Very good. His wife and children again. He has two boys, Thomas, who is six years old, and Patrick, who is eight. They eat dinner together in their dining room. 
at around six. And after that, he spent spends time with his wife and kids at home. They really enjoy watching their favorite TV programs together. In addition, two or three times a week, he does, does exercise in the evening so does. he can stay strong and healthy. He thinks. thinks. Yeah, with the letter S, that this is very important. Finally, finally, at about 9.30, he goes, goes, goes to bed. Uh -huh. Teacher, yes. live stays. Where? So he can stay? Oh, okay. No, this one is correct. Here, so he can stay. Why is correct? This one? This one is a modal verb. Eso es un verbo modal. Entonces, después okay. de un verbo modal, nunca vamos a poner un verbo en tercera persona, sino que siempre en su forma base. Oh, ah, ok, ok. Very good. All right. So then, he goes to bed. Yes. Reads a while. And then? Then. Falls. Falls. Mire, quedarse dormido, ¿cómo se dice, teacher? Quedarse dormido. Se dice, fall asleep. Dice ya, dice, I'm tired, teacher. Okay. I am falling asleep. Me estoy quedando dormido, dormida. O sea, bien cansado. Yeah. Sure, some people think his daily routine is a little boring. But on weekends and holiday, he... Love. Espérate, mi amor. Love to fly airplanes for a fan. It's his favorite hobby. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so count. Let's count. Vamos a contar si tenemos los 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Very good. Okay. Do you have any doubts, questions, dudas, preguntas? No, I think that, that it is clear, right? Ok, guys, before continuing, antes de continuar con esta actividad, vamos a hacer el quiz. ¿Ya? Yeah? Let's take the quiz. Vamos a tomar el examen. Ok. Let's take the quiz. Ok, so the quiz, vamos a tomar primero el de listening. Vamos a tomar uno de listening. Ok. De un audio. Bye. El, el examen del audio, los que están de celular, eh, I don't know if you're going to be able to take it. No sé si lo van a poder tomar los que están en el celular, pero hagamos el intento. Vaya, mire. Le voy a mandar el link al chat. ¿Sí? Ese es el link del examen. Ahora, en el examen le va a pedir que ponga su nombre, usted pone todo su nombre y le va a pedir un passcode, una contraseña. ¿Y cuál es el passcode? Ese, mire, listening, en letras mayúsculas, así como se lo he mandado. Así exactamente lo tiene que poner. Si no, no lo va a dejar entrar. Ok. Entre y me dice cuando ya esté adentro del examen. Ya, teacher. Ok. Very good. Ok. ¿Los demás? Ya, teacher. Ok. Very good. Ya, ya estoy dentro. Excellent. Ok, thank you, Enrique. Ya, teacher. Me too. Perfect. Ok. Vale. Este audio es del presente simple, guys. Ok, es del presente simple. Obviamente, el audio eh, no es tan rápido, pero tampoco es lento, como hablan. Ok, es normal. ¿Sí? Lo voy a poner dos veces. ¿Sí? La primera es para que lo escuche. La segunda es para que ya responda las preguntas. ¿Sí? 
So here we go. Aquí vamos. Okay, ready? Espero que ya todos estén adentro. Vaya, right, aquí vamos. Okay. El que no lo pueda tomar, it's okay. Si no lo puede tomar porque está trabajando, no se preocupe. Okay. Eso es más que todo para, para medir cómo estamos en listening. Okay. Para medir no, la vida. Que... ¿Qué? ¿Por qué? ¿Qué le dice, Rosibel? Eh, no me da el acceso. Nada más. No le da el acceso. En... Ajá. Listening, ¿verdad? Pero en letras mayúsculas. Sí, sí, sí. sí. Hoy sí, teacher. Eh, a, a alguien le quedó en blanco la compu, no sé. Ok, permítame. Okay. Teacher, ¿puede volver a poner el link? Es que me salí de la, del celular sin querer. Ah, ok. Vaya, se lo pongo. Bueno, el link es this one. El link y, el, y la contraseña, le voy a mandar los dos así al mismo tiempo. Ahí está. Ese es. Ok, guys. Uh, let me know once you are in, Alexandra. Me dice cuando ya se entra. Teacher. Yes. Según el audio, se va a ir respondiendo. Sí, según el audio, que le voy a poner. Okay. Vale. Vale. Ok. Vale, aquí vamos. Ok. Eh, aquí vamos, aquí vamos. Yes. Thank you. Ok. Vale, aquí vamos. Ponga atención, ¿ok? Concéntrese, concéntrese. Eh, permítame, ¿dónde está el audio? Aquí está. Okay. Well, Christmas is almost here. So what do you want from Santa this year? A toy car and walkie-talkies. Really? Well, mm -hmm. and what about you, Emily? What do you want for Christmas? If I can't have a puppy radio, um, I would have some fragile dolls. But if I can't have some fragile dolls, it doesn't really matter what I get. Wow. Well, I'm excited. And Santa's coming. And how is Santa going to get inside the house, Mikey? Um, go down the chimney. Okay, so he's going to go down the chimney. And should we prepare anything for Santa? Yeah. What are we going to prepare for him, Emily? Um, we can prepare some cookies for him and some <laughs> hot chocolate. And um, we can get Rudolph some um, hot chocolate in a bowl and a cookie. And we can give some of the reindeer some cookies and some hot chocolate. Well, what do you think? The reindeer probably don't eat cookies, but what else could we give them, Mikey? Um, apples. Oh, well, that's good. And uh, oranges and bananas. Okay, and what time do you think we should go to bed? Um, seven. About seven o'clock. Well, that's exciting. I'm really happy that Christmas is coming. Okay. Did you hear? We don't escuchar. No, teacher. Nadie. Yo sí escuché, teacher. Yo sí, pero al inicio escuché. estaba algo confuso. Yes, yes al principio, eh, como cuando empieza a hablar el niño, ¿verdad? Bye. Ok. Eh, hey, well, los que no pueden escuchar, no sé por qué no pueden escuchar. Quizás eh, Janet dice, no se oye nada. Ok. Yo sí lo pude escuchar bien. Yo sí pude. No, a mí, a mí no me sale un audio, solo me sale el examen. No, pero yo estoy, pero, ajá, es que usted solo tiene el examen. Nosotros estamos reproduciendo el audio, pero aquí no lo escucha tampoco. No, no teacher, tampoco yo. Tampoco. Yo sí, teacher. Mm, y ustedes están en el teléfono, Rosibel y sí, Janet. Sí, teacher. Ajá. Pero yo también estoy en el teléfono y sí lo escucho. Uh -huh. Yo estoy en yo el también teléfono, estoy en escucho, en el teléfono y sí lo escucho. Okay. Nada. Bien raro. Ok, bye. Eh, lo voy a volver a poner. Tal vez esta vez sí, pero me vamos a dejar de compartir. Tal vez. Me lo cinco veces, dicho. <risa> <risa> ok, vaya, espérenme, pues. Espérenme. <risa> Sorry, no. <risa> Está como difícil al principio, ¿ok? Pero no se preocupe. Si saca... Los compañeros hay que poner unas five veces. Ya, ya contesté <risa> una. Vaya, sí, sí, sí. Ok, lo voy a poner tres veces, ¿ok? Tres veces. Trate de, de responder lo que usted pueda. No se preocupe si saca mala nota, no se 
se preocupe, ¿ok? Estamos entrenando el oído, ¿ok? <risa> Nice. <laughs> well, Christmas is almost here. So what do you want from Santa this year? Really? Well, and what about you, Emily? Okay. Eh, creo que en su caso es por el internet. Algunos es por el internet. Okay. Bye. Podrían ponerlo desde un inicio que escuchamos yes. la voz de la compañera y no. Yes. Yes. Okay, guys. Yes. Bye. Vamos, okay. Nuevamente, aquí vamos. Well, Christmas is almost here, so what do you want from Santa this year? A toy car and walkie-talkies. Really? Well, mm -hmm. and what about you, Emily? What do you want for Christmas? If I can't have a Barbie radio, um, I would have some fragile dolls. But if I can't have some fragile dolls, it doesn't really matter what I get. Wow, well, I'm excited, and Santa's coming, and how is Santa going to get inside the house, Mikey? Um, go down the chimney. Okay, so he's going to go down the chimney, and should we prepare anything for Santa? Yeah. What are we going to prepare for, Emily? Um, we can prepare some cookies for him, and then, some hot chocolate, and um, we can give Rudolph some um, hot chocolate in a bowl, and a cookie, and we can give some of the reindeer some cookies and some hot chocolate. Well, what do you think? The reindeer probably don't eat cookies, but what else could we give them, Mikey? Um, apples. Oh, well, that's good. And, uh... Oranges and bananas. Okay, and what time do you think we should go to bed? Um, seven. About seven o'clock. Well, that's exciting. I'm really happy that Christmas is coming. Okay. Hey, again, last... teacher. The last time, <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> Okay, la última, okay? La última. Yes. Casi yes. Le okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Well, Christmas is almost here. So what do you want from Santa this year? A toy car and walkie-talkies. Really? Well, mm -hmm. and what about you, Emily? What do you want for Christmas? If I can't have a Barbie radio, um, I would have some fragile dolls. But if I can't have some fragile dolls, it doesn't really matter what I get. Wow, well, I'm excited. And Santa's coming. And how is Santa going to get inside the house, Mikey? Um, go down the chimney. Okay, so he's going to go down the chimney. And should we prepare anything for Santa? Yeah. What are we going to prepare for, Emily? Um, we can prepare some cookies for him and some <laughs> hot chocolate. And um, we can give Rudolph some um, hot chocolate in a bowl and a cookie. And we can give some of the reindeer some cookies and some hot chocolate. Well, what do you think? The reindeer probably don't eat cookies, but what else could we give them, Mikey? Um, apples. Oh, well, that's good. And uh, oranges and bananas. Okay, and what time do you think we should go to bed? Um, seven. About seven o'clock. Well, that's exciting. I'm really happy that Christmas is coming. Okay. Ready? Finish. No. <laughs> okay. Some of you may have finished. <laughs> okay. Okay. Send, send your answer. Finish. Respuesta. Mándela, mándela. Okay. Vamos a ver cómo sale. Dale. Solo póngale ahí que enviar. Vamos a ver. De una tengo duda, pero vamos a dar a... <laughs> Okay, Alexandra, Amanda, Brian, Carlos, very good, Carlos Alberto, okay, excellent, Enrique Arturo, Giovanni, okay, Janet, Jacqueline, Joel, Mirna, Eunice, Kevin. <laughs> okay, was it difficult? Estaba difícil. Yes. yes. Me costó okay. mucho la tercera. Yes. The number three, right? Y la primera. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, yes, Maribel. Caso no la pude, no pude entrar. Después de eso entré. Luego me volví a sacar. Decía conexión inestable. De repente se escuchaba entrecortado. Yo no pude hacer nada, de verdad. Me acabo de ingresar otra vez porque me volvió a sacar. Ok, bye. No se preocupe, es que creo que por, el, por la conexión. Ok. But creo don't worry. En, lo, 
en la, en la food, repetía las cosas y fue cuando ya me confundí. Ok, all right. So let's see, vaya, vamos a hacer la última, ok, la última práctica. The listen, ok, es de listen, también es otra de listen, a ver si la sienten más fácil esta, ok. Eh, bueno. Yes, ok, <risa> vaya. vaya, y el código es listening, el mismo, solo el link cambia. Ok, vaya. me avisa cuando yo esté adentro. Okay. Ready. That's it. Perfect. Estoy. Okay. Okay. Listo, teacher. Okay, ready, Kevin. Perfect. Yeah. Well, as well, okay. Listo, teacher. Perfect. Ok. The same thing. Le voy a poner tres veces, ok? Three times. Tres veces. ¿Ya? Yeah? So, here we go. Aquí vamos. Mm, me gustó el audio. Ok, here we go. Hi, Michael. Happy birthday. How old are you today? Seven. All right. Well, let's sing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Michael. Happy birthday to you. All right, so what should we do first? How about cake and ice cream? Okay, well, let, let's light the candles. Okay, and make a wish. Don't tell I'm me. I'm just not tell you. Yeah, don't tell me. Okay, and go ahead and blow out the candles. Okay, let's cut the cake, and then we can have cake and ice cream. And what do you want to do after the cake and ice cream? Play freeze tag. Now, how do you play freeze tag? Um, one person's it, and the person who's it tries to tag everyone. All right. And Before then... I tag someone, and then another person tags them. Oh, wow. And who's coming over later today for your birthday? Well, everyone. All my cousins, all my aunts, and grandmas, and grandpas. All right. Well, happy birthday, Michael. Okay. Is it easier? ¿Está más fácil que el otro? Yes. Yes. Um, pero otra vez. <laughs> okay, again. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Hi, Michael. Happy birthday. How old are you today? Seven. All right. Well, let's sing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Michael. Happy birthday to you. All right. So what should we do first? How about cake and ice cream? Okay, well, le let's light the candles. Okay, and make a wish. Don't tell I'm me. I'm just to not tell you. Yeah, don't tell me. Okay, and go ahead and blow out the candles. Okay, let's cut the cake, and then we can have cake and ice cream. And what do you want to do after the cake and ice cream? Play freeze tag. Now, how do you play freeze tag? Um, one person's it, and... Person who's it tries to tag everyone. All right. And Before then, I tag someone and then another person tags them. Oh, wow. And who's coming over later today for your birthday? Well, everyone. All my cousins, all my aunts and grandmas and grandpas. All right. Well, happy birthday, Michael. Okay. Ok. Eh, Alexandra. Recibe el bien raro que no, no puede escuchar ninguno. Teacher, yo no logro entrar porque me dice que el código de acceso no es válido. Mm, y está poniendo letras mayúsculas. Sí. Eh, Tal vez hay algún espacio que le ha dado y que no se ha fijado. Si quiere, solo copia y pegue el que, el que está aquí, ¿ve? el del chat. A probar nuevamente. Ya está, teacher. Ya lo mandó. Lo mandó. Sí, ok, vaya, la última vez. Ok, Thank here you. we go. Vaya, aquí vamos, aquí vamos. 
Hi, Michael. Happy birthday. How old are you today? Seven. All right. Well, let's sing Happy Birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Michael. Happy birthday to you. All right. So, what should we do first? How about cake and ice cream? Okay. Well, let, let's light the candles. Okay, and make a wish. Don't tell I'm me. I'm just not tell you. Yeah, don't tell me. Okay, and go ahead and blow out the candles. Okay, let's cut the cake, and then we can have cake and ice cream. And what do you want to do after the cake and ice cream? Play freeze tag. Now, how do you play freeze tag? Um, one person's it, and the person who's it tries to tag everyone. All right, and Before then before I tag someone, and then another person tags them. Oh wow! And who's coming over later today for your birthday? Well, everyone. All my cousins, all my aunts and grandmas and grandpas. All right. Well, happy birthday, Michael. Okay. One more time. Okay, Alexandra. The last time because yeah. Alexandra couldn't. Yeah. Vaya, porque no estaba en. Ya, se lo envié, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Los que ya lo mandaron está bien, okay? So, Alexandra, here we go. Hi, Michael. Thanks. Happy birthday. How old are you today? Seven. All right. Well, let's sing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Michael. Happy birthday to you. All right. So what should we do first? How about cake and ice cream? Okay. Well, let, let's light the candles. Okay. And make a wish. Don't tell I'm me. I'm just to not tell you. Yeah. Don't tell me. Okay, and go ahead and blow out the candles. Okay, let's cut the cake, and then we can have cake and ice cream. And what do you want to do after the cake and ice cream? Play freeze tag. Now, how do you play freeze tag? Um, one person's it, and the person who's it tries to tag everyone. All right, and Before then or I tag someone, and then another person tags them. Oh wow! And who's coming over later today for your birthday? Well, everyone, all my cousins, all my aunts and grandmas and grandpas. All right. Well, happy birthday, Michael. Okay. Very good, guys. Yes. Done. Thank you. Okay. Let me see. Let me see the results. Very good. So I see that some of you got 100. Most of you got 100. Okay. I see 60, 80s. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Very good. Was it uh, easier? Es un poco más fácil que el otro, verdad? Poquito, quizás más fácil. Okay. Vaya. Ahora vamos con escritura, okay, gramática. Aquí está. Mire, ese es el link del examen, okay. Es básicamente lo que hemos visto en este. Y el código es distinto. El código va a ser English 2022. Con ese no debería de tener problemas, Rosibel. ¿Ok? Con ese no debería de tener problemas. Porque ese no va a... Logré escuchar el último, Tisha. Ah, vaya. Ok. Pero solo no le respondí una. <risa> ah, vaya, ok. No se preocupe, pero lo pude escuchar. Is, sí, sí, lo logré. Ok. He... Ok. Vaya. Completen y cuando yo lo haya completado me dice. Teacher, ese no está ahí en la tabla de, yes, de Excel. Es el, el primero. Ahí estoy yo. Sí. En, en eso estoy posicionada. No, creo que me ve. Sí.
Okay, Naomi and Eunice. Very good. Okay, let me see, Carlos Alberto Vega. Okay. Okay, I got Giovanni, I got Janet. Mm -hmm. Okay. I got Amanda, okay, let me see Amanda. Mm, okay. Sorry, I don't know why dog. <laughs> yeah. Right dog. Yes. No I was... se me fue así. Yes. So the second one, right? I was looking yeah, into that. But then the other ones are correct. Okay. Very good. Um, I can see that some of you uh, se les ha olvidado el have to. No me le pusieron el have to y el don't have to. Okay. Let me see, Alexandra. Mm. 
-hmm. Very good. No puedo leer, teacher, I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay. Bye. Okay, los que terminamos, vamos a empezar con el speaking. Okay, vamos a pasar ya a speaking, los que ya terminamos. Fíjese lo que va a hacer. Ok, el que ya terminó, fíjese lo que va a hacer. Lo voy a poner en diferentes breakout rooms, ok, lo voy a poner en diferentes salones y va a empezar a trabajar en esto. Ok, so, for example, Jacqueline has an exam. Ok, Jacqueline has an exam tomorrow. What does she have to do? ¿Qué tiene que hacer ella? Va a usar las estructuras que hemos aprendido el día de ahora. Ok, va a escribir al menos una respuesta por cada situación. Hay seis situaciones. ¿Ok? So, si quiere elegir una situación en específico, tiene que escribir al menos cinco oraciones de esa situación. ¿Ok? So, Jacqueline has an exam tomorrow. What does she have to do? She has to study. She has to go to bed early. She has to make a summary about classes. She has to watch videos, etc. Muchas cosas que puede hacer ella. Use su imaginación dependiendo de la situación. ¿Ok? Para los que ya terminamos. En este momento voy a dividirlos. Váyase a la clase, ábrelo y váyase a esta parte. ¿Ok? So. Déjenme, voy a crear los grupos. Eh, veamos quiénes ya terminaron. Okay. Let's wait ten. Okay. Giovanni. Giovanni. And Janet. Noemi. And Eunice. Joel en Mirna. Bueno, chico, Joel. Andrea. Very good. Erwin and Rosibel. Erwin Rosibel.
Yes. Yes, Minha. Okay, play Alexander. Yes. Al enlace que acaba de enviar, nos vamos a unir. ¿O oh, por qué no me ha salido a mí de unirme a, a... a la sala? A la sala. Mm, vaya bien. Otra vez. Ok. Bye. Ok, Maribel, ¿por dónde va? Teacher, no he podido ingresar, me sale que no es válido. Ya copié, ya le voy a decir. Uh -huh. Me manda, le voy a tomar captura y se lo voy a enviar porque no puedo ingresar. Vale, entonces la voy a mandar a otra, a otra sala para que empiece a practicar. Dice que es, dice que es inestable la conexión. Es por el internet. Pero le voy a captura, le voy a tomar captura porque yo lo copio y todo. Ok, so the other ones, I think that los demás estamos como oyentes, considero yo. ¿Verdad? Creo que los demás, Oscar, Marlon, Jacqueline, Ronald, and Mirna. Um, vaya Maribel, entonces. Teacher. Yes. Voy entrando justo a la casa. Eh... ¿Necesita que haga algún examen o? No, en this case, no, in this case eh, lo voy a poner en otra sala para que practique, para que escuche cómo practican los demás. Ok, súper, yeah. gracias. Vale, right. ok. Then the other ones, eh, si los demás eh, no pueden participar porque creo que están como oyentes, ok. Entonces, eh, I'm going to leave you right here. Aquí lo voy a dejar en la sala principal. Eh, Maribel, ¿ya le mandé la invitación? Ok, gracias, teacher. Yes. No sé si le llegó. Tal vez por el, el internet quizás no le, no le va a llegar. Ya le mandé captura y le mandé... No puedo ingresar de ninguna forma. Okay. Me volví a salir y todo y nada. Sí, no se preocupe. Ok, es por el internet. Es por el internet. Bye. 
Entonces, acepte la invitación para que vaya a practicar con, con los compañeros. Ok, gracias. Ok. Okay, you finish? Oh, you are on mute, Joel. Está en, en, en mute. I finished. You finish? Okay, so let me ask you, Noemi. Um, so Jacqueline has an exam tomorrow. What does she have to do? Um. She has to study. She has to study, okay. Uh, she has to sleep early. Excellent, uh-huh. She has to review the class. Okay. She has to pay attention. Perfect, uh-huh. She uh -huh. negative, uh, She doesn't have to watch TV. Excellent, yes. Very good. Okay, so now, uh, Noemi, make one of these. Frank wants to buy a car. What does he have to do? Uh, he has to save money. He has to save money. Very good. And if Juan wants to go to Guatemala in December, what does he have to do? He has to drive many times. He has to drive mm -hmm. a lot of time. A oh, lot of time. Yeah, a lot of time. Okay. And if Vanessa is sick, what does she have to do? Uh, he, pardon, she has to go to the hospital. Very good. And if Jonathan has a meeting with his boss tomorrow, what does he have to do? He has to write a report. Excellent. And Sandra has a doctor's appointment tomorrow, but she works at that time. What does she have to do? She has to talk with the boss. Excellent. Very good. Okay. So now that you finished with this, Joel, what about you? Did you finish? Yes. Okay. So, Joel, let us ask you, okay? So, Joel, tell us what does Jonathan have to do? He has a meeting with his boss tomorrow. Jonathan has, has to mm -hmm. has to meeting with, uh, with his boss. With how uh, with his boss tomorrow. Okay. So, uh, Jonathan has to meet with his boss tomorrow. tomorrow. And Juan wants to go to Guatemala in December. Well, what does he have to do? Juan. Juan has has to wants to go. To go to go Guatemala. Okay, but if he wants to go to Guatemala, o sea, él quiere ir a Guatemala. ¿Qué tiene que hacer para ir a Guatemala? What does Juan, he have to do? Juan, Juan has to uh, buy a ticket. A ticket. Uh, a ticket Guatemala. Yes. Very good. Okay. All right, guys. Continue. Continue with those. Continue with this. With those three. Esas tres preguntas. Okay. Continue. Ya no vamos a ir para la salón principal, pero en ese momento continúe con esas tres. Okay. Okay. All right. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Help. Help. Andamos Help. perdidas. Okay. Andamos perdidos. Eh, yes. Entiendo. Bye. 
go to this part. A esa parte tienen que ir, miren. Aquí, ¿ven? Ajá. Esa. Yes, ahí, Brian. Vale. Ok, so, ¿qué va a hacer? Van a agarrar una situación como equipo. Por ejemplo, en este caso, ustedes deciden, ¿ok? Si quieren hablar de, vaya, aquí a la cuatro, dice, Vanessa is sick. Vanessa está enferma. What does she have to do? ¿Qué tiene que hacer Vanessa? Al menos cinco cosas de lo que Vanessa tiene que hacer. Utilizando el she has to. She has to. ¿Ok? Ok. Bye. She has to see the doctor. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, sí, correcto. Así. Y, diga, y digamos así, si, si digamos, un termómetro, a ella se le diría, she has to take temperatura, ¿cómo se dice? Uh, the temperature. The temperature. Yes. Pero sería así, she has to, she has to take, take. No, she has to take. She has to take. Yes. Entonces, sí. este, le repito, le, le pregunto, ¿no cambia el verbo? No, el verbo que cambia es el has, o sea, dice, she has to take. Ajá, ah, ok, ok. Tempe, temper to, ¿Cómo me dijo? Oh, he, uh, she has to take her temperature. 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 Mm -hmm. okay. Vaya, llevamos dos niños. Mm -hmm. hey, otra es, she, ha, she has to take medicine. She has to take medicine. Mm -hmm. Muy bien. Muy bien, muy bien. Very good. ¿Qué más? Tomar reposo, eh, ¿cómo se dice? She has to rest. She has to rest. Ella tiene que descansar. Yes, she has to rest. Uh -huh. Yes, she has to rest. She has to take care. No. Um, she has to take care of herself. Tiene que cuidarse, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Yes. So she has... Le puedo poner, she has uh -huh. to take care of herself. Así le puedo poner, of herself. She has to take, it, take care of herself. Mm -hmm. of, of her. Of herself. De ella misma. Of herself. Por eso sería of herself. Yes. Eh, ok, quiero ver quién me mandó. She se escribe, mm -hmm. se escribe S-A-M-I, ¿verdad, teacher? Mm -hmm. Ok. Bye. Ok, vámonos al salón principal. ¿Están listos? Sí, la última parte. She has to take care of her same. Yes. En la del medicamento, ¿cómo era? She has to. Medicine. 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 Pero ahí tendría que ir este take también, ¿verdad, Tisha? Yes. She has to take medicine. Medicine. Ok, Tisha. Ok. Bueno, vámonos al salón principal.
Ok. Room 2, Giovanni, Janet, creo que no están aquí todavía. Giovanni, Janet. Ok. So, let me ask you, do you have questions, guys? ¿Tienen preguntas acerca de lo que estábamos haciendo? Ok, so let's see. I think that we all are here. Eh, ok, Giovanni, eh, let me see room two. Giovanni, Janet, and Marlon. Ok, I saw your answers. You send them to the WhatsApp group. Lo mandaron al grupo de WhatsApp, right? Bye. Observations, mire. Dice, she does a study, she has prepared the meeting, she has to ask her both for permission, she does, ok. En este caso, debería de haber sido, she has to study, la primera. La segunda, he has to prepare the meeting, le faltó el to en la segunda, y en la primera le faltó el has to. Eh, la tercera está bien, ok, it is correct. Number four, she has to go to the hospital. En lugar del does, le tiene que poner el has to. He does to buy the ticket, he has to buy the ticket. Recuerde que estamos viendo el have to, ¿ya? Yeah? Y la última, he has to save money or get, sin la S, or get along. Bye. Now, let me listen to some of you, okay? So, guys, eh, let's see, Amanda, which is your team? Nosotros hicimos varios. Okay, tell me, tell me number five. Juan wants to go to Guatemala in December. What does he have to do? Ese no lo hicimos. Hicimos el de Vanessa. Okay, so Vanessa is sick. What does he have to do? Uh, she has to visit the doctor. She has to take the medicine. She has to rest on a bed. Um, she has to drink water. And she doesn't have to go to work. Perfect. That was excellent. Very good. Excellent. Okay. You have to and has to. Very good. Okay, so now let me ask you something, guys, okay? So I need your advice. I want to be happy. What do I have to do? Deme consejos. I, want I have... Mm -hmm. You have... I have... Ah, okay. You, you have to... Uh, eat healthy. Excellent. <laughs> you have to eat healthy. Mm -hmm. What else, guys? I want to be happy. What do you I have to do? You have to ignore angry people. Very good. You have to ignore angry people. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, guys, I want to be rich i want to be rich what do i have to do i want to be rich oh my god where is it i want to be rich you have to work. you have to save money you have to save money okay what else do i have to do mm -hmm. i want to be rich Quiero yo ser. you have to work very hard you have to work very hard very good uh -huh. now i want to be famous i want to be famous what do i have to do i want to be famous you have to study for a, a, a sky for uh actress 
okay, you have to study to be an actress, okay? Yes. You have to do TikTok videos. <laughs> okay, so yes, you have to create TikToks. Okay, create, create TikToks, okay? Yes, very good, okay? And I want to live for a very long time. I want to live for a very long time. What do I have to do? I want to live for a very long time. You have, you have to, to do, do exercise. exercise. Very good. You have to do exercise. You have to to eat healthily. No recuerdo. You have to eat healthy. Very good. Yes. Uh -huh. What else? If I want to live for a long time. You have to sleep. Okay. Eight hours. Yes. You have to sleep eight hours, okay? Now, guys, I want to have lots of friends. I want to have many friends. What do I have to do? You don't have to shy. You don't have to be shy. Be shy. Mm -hmm. Excellent, yeah, that is correct. How, what else, guys? Mm -hmm. If I want to have a lot of friends, you have to smile. You have to smile. Very good. You have to help your friends. You have to help your friends. Very good. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay, guys. And the last question for today. I want to improve my English. What do I have to do? You have I to, have to practice. You have to practice. You have to listen to music. Uh -huh. I have to watch TV. TV English in TV English TV. <laughs> oh no! I had to, I have to watch um English movie. Or, yes, English movies, okay? I have to watch English movies, yes. Okay. Very good. You have to speak with mm, native... Or native. Native, native, native. people. The speakers. Excellent, native speakers, yes. Excellent, very good. Okay, guys. All right, so in this case, tomorrow we are going to continue with a different topic. No se le olvide estudiar lo que vamos viendo. Mañana vamos a tener más listenings, ¿ok? So, let me, let me ask uh, something, ¿ok? Déjeme y voy a preguntar si se encuentra en ese momento aquí en la clase. ¿Se encuentra Enrique Arturo? No. Ok. Eh, ¿Joel? Yes. Ok, Joel, you please stay with me, ¿ok? Joel, se queda un ratito. Luego, los demás, guys, thank you for being responsible. Gracias por ser responsable y conectarse, ¿ok? I'll see you back tomorrow. Have a good night. Okay? Good night. Good night, guys. Have a good, good night. night. Good night, Richard. Good night. Good night. Ok. Eh, hi, Joel. Hi, teacher. How are you, Joel? ¿Cómo se siente, Joel? Yeah, I'm fine. You're fine? Okay. So, yes, Joel, um, this space, okay, este espacio, Joel, es básicamente para que usted hable no acerca de... Eh, ok, espérenme, vamos a... a... Teacher, no puedo salir. Bueno, no se preocupe, permítame. Ya, 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 teacher, ya, teacher. Okay. Okay. Gracias. Good night. Okay. Good night. Vaya, Joel. Entonces, eh, ese pequeño espacio es para que usted me pueda comunicar, Joel, cómo se siente con la clase, cómo se siente con la dinámica de la clase, cómo se siente con las actividades que hacemos, cómo se siente en general con toda la clase, ¿verdad? Eh, si tiene alguna dificultad con algún tema, que en este momento le, me diga, sí, teacher, fíjese que eso no le he comprendido muy bien, eh, para que se lo pueda explicar, 
o en este caso, si no tiene ningún problema con ningún tema, está bien, también me lo puede decir. Eh, y necesito saber si tiene problemas con la plataforma. Eh, en español, ¿verdad? Yes, ok. If you want, try in English. Si puede, trate en inglés. Bueno, ok. Yo siento que sí, voy, voy así. Me, se me dificulta a veces escuchar, que a veces no logro comprender, ¿verdad? Con algunas palabras. ¿no? Sí. Pero voy tratando, agarrando el hilo de los... Eh, llevando clase con clase, ¿verdad? Viendo las grabaciones sí. y tal. Y, y siento que está bastante dinámica la clase y se aprende porque... Eh, con los demás compañeros, las interacciones que hacemos, las logro aprender bien. Sí. Okay. Voy a ir con el ritmo. Y los exámenes también que nos ayudan. Ok. Y, ajá, y por el momento siento que voy, voy tratando de, de ir ahí, va, estudiando. No tengo ninguna duda al respecto. Siento que está bastante dinámica la clase y se aprende. Okay. A pesar del horario, ¿verdad? Se aprende. Sí, yo sé, ¿verdad? La mayoría pues viene cansados, ¿verdad? Y, y básicamente pues eso es entendible, es entendible ya que todo el día pasan en sus trabajos. Eh, en este caso, Joel, cuénteme, ¿ya había estudiado inglés anteriormente? ¿O es la primera vez que estudia? O cuénteme acerca de su proceso. Ya había estudiado, pero así cuando estaba estudiando bachillerato estudié así en una, una materia obligatoria. Pero uh -huh. la estudié así, sí, ¿cómo se llama? Como que no, quería, no tenía interés, hoy tengo interés. Ok, ok. Eh, en ese caso, eh, ¿cuál es el objetivo en usted para que esté estudiando el idioma inglés? ¿Cuál es su meta? Eh, pues yo quiero aprender inglés porque es bastante necesario, porque la mayoría de trabajos lo demandan y, y te abre más puertas para lo que vos estás te abre más puertas en, en tu ámbito. Sí, ok. Eh, ¿Estuvo anteriormente en el curso eh, principiante 1? Sí, en, de ese módulo vengo, el módulo 1. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Bye. Entonces, sí, en con, el... la plataforma, con la plataforma no me ha dado ningún problema porque ya, 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 había, ya la había utilizado anteriormente en el módulo 1. Ya sabe cómo utilizarla, no hay ningún inconveniente con nada, ¿verdad? Y todo eso. Ok, perfecto. Vale. ¿Y con sus compañeros en la, en la break room? Sí, ¿Se sí. siente bien? En uh -huh. algunos casos sí hay compañeros que participan, pero hay unos que como que no cuesta participar, pero, pero uh -huh. sí, la mayoría sí son bastante, lo participa uno. ¿eh? Okay. A veces uno se queda, ¿verdad? Pero trata ahí siguiendo. Sí. Ok. Uh -huh. Eso es lo importante, ¿verdad? La verdad que eso es lo importante. Eh, bien, eh, en este caso, pues, primeramente, pues, felicitarlo porque a pesar que sí, el horario es un poquito cansado, ¿verdad? Usted ha continuado con el programa, viene de principiante 1 uh -huh. y ahora vamos principiante 2, entonces ha continuado, ¿verdad? Le ha dado continuidad a eso y eso es muy importante y lo felicito porque tiene ese objetivo de lograr aprender el idioma y eso es muy bueno. ¿Sí? Y como usted lo dijo, Joel, eh, básicamente pues todos los empleos lo requieren, ¿verdad? Ya ahora la pregunta es qué nivel de inglés tiene, ¿verdad? Ya no le preguntan, ¿sabe inglés? No, ahora le preguntan qué nivel de inglés usted tiene. Entonces, y eso va a ser así, ¿verdad? En unos 3, 4, 5 años más va a ser un requisito indispensable que usted sepa el inglés. Entonces, en este momento que usted está estudiando, pues ha, ha comenzado en un buen tiempo que el inglés va agarrando ya el auge en todos los empleos. Eh, ¿Está sí. estudiando en la universidad o solamente está estudiando esto, el curso? Sí, estudio en la universidad también. ¿Y qué lleva en la universidad, Joel? Yo llevo licenciatura en sociología. Ok, perfecto. Mire, esa eh, licenciatura básicamente no es tan eh, común, ¿verdad? Pero... Eh, si usted sabe inglés, puede viajar. Sí, ¿Puede? puedo ejercer en otro lado. Sí, yes, por supuesto, Joel. Entonces es bien importante que, eh, pues, siempre, ¿verdad? Le, le, eh, no se desmotive. Si ¿sí? no se desmotive, ya que acuérdese que al principio el idioma, pues, es un poco difícil para todos, Joel. No es que es nada más para uno, ¿verdad? Hay algunos que nos cuesta un poquito más, pero hay otros que tal vez. 
eh, lo agarramos más rápido. Ahora bien, ¿cuál es la diferencia? Bueno, en el que quizás el que eh, lo aprende más rápido es porque estudia por, eh, en sus tiempos libres, ¿verdad? En aplicaciones extras. ¿verdad? Entonces, yo lo que le puedo aconsejar, ¿verdad? Y mi feedback para usted es, número uno, que yo necesito que usted me participe más. Sí, en la clase yo necesito que Joel esté más activo. Yo quiero escuchar más a Joel. ¿Por qué? Porque es para que usted vaya y mejore un poquito más lo que es la fluidez, ¿verdad? Y que eh, tratemos de participar porque es importante, ¿verdad? Más que todo en el proceso de los primeros meses que ustedes están aprendiendo lo más básico, es importante que practiquen bastante. Entonces necesito que usted me diga, teacher, voluntario, yo, mi teacher. Yo. Yes. Entonces, yo necesito ver a Joel más activo en la clase, ¿sí? más activo. Yo sé de que siempre se conecta y es muy responsable, ¿okay? pero yo necesito que usted me participe un poquito más en la clase. ¿sí? Eh, sí. Bien, en relación con la plataforma, pues excelente, no se le olvide, ¿verdad? Llevar sus tareas a, a, al día, que no se le olvide. Eh, y bueno, por lo demás, ¿verdad? Más que nada incentivarlo a que siga aprendiendo de que dedique al menos unos 15 minutos, ¿verdad? Al día extra en su almuerzo puede hacerlo. Escuche un video en inglés o vea un tema en inglés en YouTube, ¿ok? Y si no tiene ese internet en su celular, ¿verdad? Lo que puede hacer es descargar algún PDF de todos los que usted tiene ahí. Descárguelo y, y estudie más que todos los verbos, ¿ok? Póngase a estudiar los verbos, Joel, porque los verbos son bien importantes que usted se los aprenda. Entonces, eh, básicamente, pues eso, ¿verdad? No sé si tiene algo más que agregar, algo que, que me quiera mencionar. No, eh, no, de hecho, eso que agregado sí, te, uh, el estudio en canales de YouTube, que miro que son bastante, que, bastante prácticos. Sí, ok, bye. entonces en eso, pues lo felicito mucho. ¿Verdad? Que usted esté pues tomando esa iniciativa de, de estudiar en un canal pues de YouTube, va a aprender muchísimo, ¿ok? Entonces, uh -huh. eh, siempre manténgase entusiasmo, ¿verdad? Por el idioma, ya que el idioma al principio tal vez es un poco complejo, pero media vez usted ya pues pase esto, ¿verdad? Que es lo más básico, ya después va a ver que es súper fácil, ¿sí? Entonces, eh, básicamente pues eso, necesito ver más participación de usted en la clase. Y aparte Muchas felicitarlo, gracias. porque va súper bien, ¿verdad? Las veces que ha participado y que yo pues le, le, le he dicho que participe, lo ha hecho. Cuando ha entrado a la sala siempre está pues haciendo la actividad, ¿verdad? No he encontrado que no esté haciendo la actividad o algo. Entonces puedes felicitarlo por eso, ¿verdad? Así que eh, me alegro que todo esté bien por el momento, ¿verdad? Y eh, si no hay nada más que agregar, entonces lo voy a ver el día de mañana, ¿ok? Eh, no sé si tiene algo más que decirme. Solamente eso, trate, trate, voy a tratar de ser más participativo en las clases y gracias. Ok, excelente, Joel. Ok, perfecto. Esa es la actitud, Joel. Ok, so I'll see you back tomorrow. Ok, have a good night. Take care. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night.